In addition to the layer drop-down in the Layers panel on the Home ribbon, you can also control layer states and layer settings by using the Layer Properties Manager. If I click the Layer Properties button, the program displays the Layer Properties Manager. This button acts as a toggle. If I click on the button again, the Layer Properties Manager disappears. Click the button again, and the Layer Properties Manager is once again visible. The Layer Properties Manager is a palette, and therefore it behaves just like any other palette. When it's floating like this, you can move it around by dragging on its title bar. You can also resize the palette by clicking and dragging on an edge or corner. If you right-click on the title bar, you can move, size, or close the palette. The Layer Properties Manager palette can also be docked to the side of the drawing window or anchored to the left or right. Notice that when the palette is anchored, it's actually still open, but it is rolled up so that it doesn't take up much room. But since it's a palette, I can start a command, such as the line command. And then, when I move the cursor over the palette, the Layer Properties Manager rolls back out and I can make changes to the layer settings in the middle of the command. Notice that when I move the cursor back into the drawing window, the palette rolls back up and the line command is still active. Even when the palette is floating, it can be set to automatically hide. Now, when I move the cursor off the palette, I only see the palette title bar. But when I move the cursor back over the palette, it rolls back out so that I can modify the layer settings. If I don't want the palette to roll up like this, I can right-click on the palette title bar and turn off the Auto Hide feature. Notice that now, the palette no longer hides when I move the cursor away from the palette. When the palette is visible like this, it becomes difficult to see objects behind the palette. But you can also adjust the transparency of the palette. I'll right-click on the palette title bar again and choose Transparency. This displays the Transparency dialog box. Notice that the dialog box has two settings. The General setting controls the overall transparency of the palette. By dragging this slider to the left, I can increase the transparency of the Layer Properties Manager palette. I'll set that value to 30%. The Rollover setting controls the transparency of the palette when you move the cursor over the palette. You can click the Click to Preview button to see the effect of this setting. Notice that when the rollover transparency is set to 100%, the palette will become solid when you move the cursor over the palette. If you still want to see through the palette a bit even when the cursor is over the palette, you can reduce this value. I'll set it to 60%. Then I'll click the Preview button to see what this looks like. Note that the general transparency can't be more opaque than the rollover transparency. Notice that if I move the general slider back to the right, once I reach 60%, as I move the general slider, the rollover slider moves as well. I'll change the general value to 75% and the rollover setting to 100%. Once the transparency is set the way you want, click OK. Now I can see the geometry behind the palette. When I move the cursor over the palette, the palette becomes opaque. I can then modify any of the layer states. I can turn layers on and off, change their colors, and so on. Notice that as I make those changes, I immediately see the changes in the drawing. There is no OK or Apply button because the Layer Properties Manager is a palette, not a dialog box. When you make changes using a palette, you see those changes immediately in the drawing. This makes it very easy to manipulate layers even while you're in the middle of using some other command. Most people prefer to have the Layer Properties Manager anchored rather than floating. That way, it stays out of the way until needed. When you need to make a change, 
you can move the cursor to the edge of the drawing window. Then when the palette becomes visible, you can make any necessary changes and then move the cursor back into the drawing and continue what you were doing.